what, what the mate is talking about. What's up, family? A UK criminology student who lied about being raped by a taxi driver after he refused to accept her kebab soaked tenor has been jailed for 16 months. The wannabe cop, Sophie Poynton, told police officers that she had been sexually assaulted in the backseat of the cab she had been picked up in after a night out in Leeds City Center. The court heard the driver of Father of Five was tracked down and kept in custody for six hours. He was also unable to work for four weeks as a result of the claim and said Poynton threw a 10 pound knot at him when they reached the Hyde Park area, but he refused to accept it as it was covered in oil from the kebab. The driver said Poynton then became abusive and ran around the car opening doors. A recording of the conversation between the driver and a phone operator at the taxi office supported his account. The court heard a GPS tracker fitted to the car also revealed Poynton's description of the taxi journey to be untrue. Poynton broke down in tears and asked if she could drop the charges when her account was challenged by police. She pleaded guilty to perverting justice and said her hopes of becoming a police officer were now ruined. After jailing Poynton for 16 months, Judge Christopher Batty told her, your malicious complaint has done a huge disservice to those seeking justice through the police and the courts. The driver said that he also suffered from a whole lot of stress as a result of these false allegations. Boy, that's cold-blooded. That's cold-blooded, man. How could anybody with a shred of decency tell a lie like that and ruin somebody's life? Even though he's been exonerated in the courts, in the court of public opinion, he still has that rapist stigma attached to his name because for the rest of his days, people will be able to look this up on the internet and see that his name was attached to a sexual assault. Even in his community, think about the people who had a particular perception of him before this incident. Imagine if she had become a police officer. She would have falsely accused and jailed an innocent man with great authority because the courts would give her the benefit of doubt as they do all police officers. That's cold-blooded. Women have been given a free pass to scream rape. Now there's Many, many, many cases where women come forward with allegations of rape and they're very honest about their testimony. But when you have these women, these scandalous, conniving, low-down, dirty dogs who falsely accuse men of rape, it undermines the credibility of the women who are honest about it. Makes it very, very hard for people to believe them. This is why so many defense attorneys are successful at getting charges dismissed against rapists. In many cases, known rapists because these women out here that are out here lying, they have casted a shadow of doubt over all of these cases. It makes it very, very hard. She should receive, she should have received the same amount of time that he would have gotten, the taxi driver would have gotten, had he been convicted.
This is truly sad for the taxi driver because by all accounts, he seems like a hardworking, honest family man. Now he has to have his life turned upside down by a common drunk. A drunk. Let me tell you something. If I was a taxi driver, I'd have so many cameras in that damn car, they call me the cameraman. Because it's too many fools out there. It's too many idiots out there. It's too many thugs out there. It's too many people out there with bad understanding. Too many liars out there. People will say anything. Especially you get a college student in there studying criminology probably come from a well-to-do family, used to being entitled. They're probably going to take her word over yours. And if he didn't have that proof, if he didn't have that GPS tracker, if he didn't have that recording by the dispatcher, that man would probably be in prison. Lying about rape is one of the most low-down lies a person can tell because of what it does to the innocent. Not just the person who's accused, but that person's family and friends. And what it does to that person's career. Lying about rape is so frequent now, it should be a form of harassment. It's truly amazing how many women out there will demean victims with false allegations of rape for the purpose of revenge and intimidation. This girl is in school because she wants to be a cop. She's studying criminology. Oh, she's gonna be a brilliant one. She missed the GPS tracker and she missed the Recording from the dispatcher. <laughs> wow. But you know what? Undoubtedly, she'll fit right in as a police officer. Here's why. She's already lying and perverting justice. She's blaming the victim. She's whining for leniency, and she has a sense of self-entitlement. What else am I missing? No more talk. What, what the maid is talking about. Yeah. Order, Texas.